After decades of providing dial-up internet access, Welcome. AOL just recently discontinued this service. That may not be big news in 2025, because a 56K connection isn't fast enough to do much of anything anymore. But even still, it's a little bit sad. It's officially the end of an era. Never again will a teenager have to tell their parents to stay off the phone so they can play Doom with their friend down the street. And never again will we actually hear our internet traffic. Goodbye. Or will we? But before we get to that, let's look at why dial-up modems made their characteristic sounds. Before we had cable modems or fiber optics in the home, and way before high bandwidth wireless data was available, the best connection most people had to the outside world was a telephone line. It wasn't a particularly good option, but it could connect you to nearly any destination in the world. There was a pretty big problem, however. Computers speak a digital language, while the telephone network was built to transmit analog signals. Without swapping out some hardware, as was done with DSL lines, transmitting digital data would have been unreliable. As a workaround, modems were developed. Modems convert digital data into analog signals compatible with the existing telephone infrastructure and vice versa to send and receive data. And those analog signals are treated just like a voice call by telephones, so they can be heard as sound. As I hinted earlier, I want to bring the dial-up experience back, so I created this ugly mess of wires that converts Wi-Fi data into sound so you can hear your internet connection. I'm using this Raspberry Pi 3 to make that possible. It has a secondary USB Wi-Fi adapter that I use to sniff network traffic. I put the adapter into a mode that receives all traffic, then I filter it to target one particular computer so that I can focus on its traffic. I then send the data from the captured packets to this Adafruit Cutie Pie microcontroller via a serial connection. It then turns the data value into an amplitude that I use to generate a sound wave. This is converted into an analog signal with the onboard digital to analog converter and the output is fed into an amplifier that then plays sound through this speaker. Now the data is pretty much random, so as you might expect, it sounds pretty much like static. That's actually also true of dial-up modems. But wait, what about the connection sounds we all know and love, you ask? Those are special because during the initial handshake, the transfer rate is slowed way down and specific steps are always taken. But when real data is transferred, and the speaker turns off. It's all static. So to make the Wi-Fi sound more interesting, I made some occasional random adjustments to the amplitude and frequency of the sound wave the device produces. But it's all driven by the Wi-Fi data. Okay, I think the only thing left to do is to take a look at the device in operation. I've got this set to monitor my desktop computer and I'm gonna start it up. 